Hi Pinks, how you doing? Let me know in the comments below. Oh! Today I'm gonna show you the best headless hack, so I really think you should stick around until the end. But first, I bet you can't like and subscribe before Lilac says go. 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Firstly, go to the link in the description and buy this head. Go to style, and equip the head. Put on a hair combo, and here is how it looks in game. This is literally insane, it looks like I have headless. If you don't believe me, go try it yourself. It really works. Do you think this is the best headless hack? Let me know below in the comments. So just like yesterday pinks, I am going to show you guys a new free item from Prime Gaming. And all links will be in the description. This free item expires in 27 days, so don't forget to claim it. To get it, go to the Prime Gaming link in the description, and press the purple button. If you aren't signed in, sign in now. Remember, you need an Amazon Prime account to claim this item. Once you're signed in, press the big, purple button again, and this time it will take you to another page. Come over here and copy the code. You can only use this code once, and on one Roblox account. So once you copy the code, go to roblox.com slash redeem, and paste the code in this box. Press redeem. And boom, you should get the item. Do you like it? Let me know in the comments below. Comment down below if you think this is going to work. It would be very cool if it did. That video is fake sadly. First of all, join this game. Once you're in, come over here to join the queue for Puma Ball. Choose a side, and now we play. The objective of the game is to score the ball in your goal. Use your jetpack by pressing the space bar, and hit the ball to move it. Once you win your first match, you should get a badge in the item. Do you like the item? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, some items for Vans World were discovered all the way back in August, and it was predicted that they'll be released in October. And now, Vans World has made two badges. Possibly for some free item soon. Note that none of this has been confirmed, but it is highly likely. Anyway, here's the items. They look nice. Hopefully the update comes out soon. Do you like the items? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Spotify Island is back at it again, with even more items. We're not sure if they're going to be free, but I really hope they are. Here's how they look. These are honestly so cute. Comment which is your fave, and I'll see you in the next one. First, let's talk about this new hair coming from Ultiverse. Ultiverse has given us so many iconic hairs, and I'm so glad they're coming back. Here's the hair. More than likely, we're going to be able to get this hair completely free, a badge has even been made for it. Next up we have new items from the new Shine X Klarna event called Klarna Wonderland, and it's coming soon. Here are some of the event items.
It has not been confirmed yet if all of these items are going to be free, but hopefully they are, or at least some of them. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. How to get this in Roblox? Let's try it out, I guess. Sadly, the link only took me to Pinterest. There's no way to actually get the hair. Did you want the hair? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. There has been so many events in Roblox lately, Gucci, Burberry, Fox, and Roblox even had a 13th anniversary birthday event, which gave us this somewhat beautiful free item. Well, at the time, it was free, but now you can sell it because it's a limited. You never know when free items will become limited, that's why honestly, it's best to try to get them all. It's not like you paid anything for them, as you can see here, it took 3 years for this hat to become a limited, so be patient and wait. But don't wait to get all of the free items you can, or else you'll miss out on free Robux, just like I did. The NFL will be having a new event in Roblox and an experience called NFL Quarterback Simulator. In this event, there will be many items you can get, some free and some paid. Here's how the items look. So as I said a couple of videos ago, Roblox is releasing more and more dynamic heads, and they just came out with two more. Here's how they look. So cool. I love the animations. If you want to buy them, you can click the links in the description. Do you like the faces? Let me know in the comments below. The walk is kinda cute lol. So basically, once you join, you can choose one of these characters to be, and all of their hair moves. But once I jumped, things kinda got out of control. <laughs> Do you think this type of hair should be in the item shop? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. It's Halloween season, so that means scary free items. In iHeartland, Music Tycoon, a badge has been created for this item, and it states that you can get this item by participating in the limited time Halloween scavenger hunt. That's so cool. They'll probably be released soon. Another spooky free item that was released recently is this pumpkin in Nike Land. You have to find all of the ghosts around the map. You can click on fast travel and see where they're located. Once you get all four, you should get the UGC in your inventory and a badge. Hopefully Roblox releases more Halloween items. <laughs> If you 
you don't have a lot of Robux, I am doing a giveaway right now, so join my group. Do you like it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. This is not an emote, it's just a cut cut effect lol. Nice editing though. Do you want a Roblox emote like this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. How to get free hair. Go to inventory. Go to this one. And there's the hair. I really wanted that hair, but it's okay. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. So, H&M is coming to Roblox, in a game called Lu Optopia, and it's recently been confirmed that at least 4 UGC items will be available for free in the experience, and they will be available soon. Once I have more information, I will try my hardest to let you all know. Do you like the items? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. So I made a cute outfit, but when I went to upload it, the upload creation button wasn't there. I even did some research, but no one else seemed to know anything about this. So this TikTok is a lie, but if it were true, what character bundle would you make? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. So today I have three outfits for you guys. And don't worry, I have a fake headless one too. If you don't have headless, wear this hair and scarf. Do you like the outfits? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. So as some of you may know, Nars released these headphones for 200 Robux, but they might become free soon because Nars just added new badge stating that you can unlock the headphones for free within the experience. In the past, Nars would release items for Robux, but then later on they would become free. We don't know if this will be part of a daily login or will be paid for with an experience currency, but I will try my hardest to update you guys. It would also be really nice if the other items become free as well. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. The Sleepy Honey the Unicorn Backpack free item will soon be available for free in the Shimmerville experience. And it will be achieved by completing all the Megan Place missions. Here's how the item looks. OMG, that is just so cute. Comment below if you like this item, and I'll see you in the next one. Do you like it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. This is the app, if you want it to draw your Roblox avatar, have a picture of your avatar ready and find a free template in the photos section. Click it and import the photo of your Roblox avatar. It's really fun lol. Some of the templates look weird with certain photos so just play around with it a little. Once you get one you like, press the save button right here. Do you like it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Here are the items you need. You can use the gnome legs, are the legs from this package.
Do you like it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Go to the Avatar Shop. Head Accessories. Sort from low price to high, and it should show up. And you can get it. Do you like the item? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Here are all of the animated character bundles Roblox just released. They come with free hair and layered clothing. And unlike other character bundles, these are animated, and as you can see the faces move. If you want them, press the link below and you can get them all completely free. You can also go to the avatar shop, go to characters, filter the items from price lowest to highest, and they should pop up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Firstly, search for Roblox Player on your computer, and open the file location. Right click here, and open the file location again. Now open this folder. And then open the textures folder. Now, go save a Roblox face you want to your computer. When you save it, name a face. Now, open up the textures folder again, and drag the new Roblox face into the textures folder. Now go to the Roblox catalog, and take off your current face. Do you like it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. First, go to the catalog, then type in fingernails. And they should show up. They're so cute. And they come in multiple colors. Do you like them? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. If you want a realistic avatar, just get all of these items. There's a headless option, and a fake headless one. If you're broke like me, and you can't afford headless, just wear this hair in any color, make a hair combo if you want to, and wear this head. It looks so real OMG. Emotional damage. If you want this item, click the link below and buy a Roblox gift card. Go through all of the steps, and check out. Once you buy it, you should get the item in your inventory. Do you like the item? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. So as some of you may know, I made a video on these items being released, and they're pretty cute. But now, there's even more. I hope they're free so all of you guys can get them. Anyway, here's how they look. I cannot wait to get these. If they are released for free, I will make a video showing you guys how to get them. It is expected for these items, plus the items in this video, to be released this Friday or the next. Anyways, let me know if you like the items in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. So Elton John, a music artist, is coming to Roblox with a new event. And some items for the event has been revealed. Here they are. Holy 
smokes, that's a lot of items. More than likely some of them are gonna be free, and I'll try my hardest to update you guys. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So to get this item, you have to click the link in the description, and it will take you to this page. You can only claim the item if you have an Amazon account, or a free trial. Anyway, sign in and claim the item. Also, you can only claim one club per Amazon account. Anyway, claim the code. Now once you're on this page, you have to copy the code. Then, go to roblox.com slash redeem to redeem your code and get the item. After you do that, you can go in this game and claim this free skin. So, if you don't know what a dynamic head is, this is how they look. I guess they're just animated Roblox faces. Roblox previously released these, but now, there's more. To get them, click the links in the description. They're all so cute. Let me know if you're gonna buy them in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Item. First go to roblox.com slash redeem. Then enter this code. Press redeem, and it should be in your inventory. Let's see how it looks. Oh my gosh this is so cool. I can't wait to flex on all of my friends. Anyways, let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll see you in the next one. So this is the game we will be in today. To get this first item, you have to complete this trivia hall. To get this item, you have to find all of the lighting bolts scattered inside the building and outside, and it's really easy. To get this lightning bolt, all you have to do is enter the game. To get this shirt, you have to talk to Black Adam and play the destruction game. You have to get all of these items first, and the wings last. Then, you and three other players must stand on each of the four squares for a secret door to open. This is the game we will be in today. To get this item, you have to find all of the letters scattered around the map. Unlike other free item events, this one was actually hard. Once you get to the letter L, you have to come over here and complete the obby. Once you complete the obby, get the letter L, and then the wings should be in your inventory. To get the items, join this game. Now, follow me to the hometown zone. Once you're there, place your convenience store in one of the blue areas. Then come over here to the Digital Civility Campaign. As you can see here, there are 3 free UGC items you can get, this one costs 6 keys, this one is 8 keys, and this last one is 12 keys, so you need a total of 26 keys if you want to get all of the items. To earn keys, you need to talk to this bear so you can enter the maze. There are 8 friends in the maze, and you have to help all of them. Go through the maze, and when you find one of your friends, holy to answer their question. The answer to all of them is unreliable, so don't worry about getting them wrong.
Once you help all of them, come over here to exit the maze with all of your keys. Once you have enough keys to buy an item, come over here and claim your item. Do the maze as many times as you want so you can get all of the items. Once you exchange your keys for an item, the items should be in your inventory and you should get a badge. Do you like the items? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. This is the game we will be in today. To get this first item, the Jamarant Beats headphones, you have to go to the Dark Court Portal. To unlock the Dark Court Portal, you have to complete 5 quests. To do quests, you have to come over here to Quest Guy and do what he tells you to lol. For most quests, you just have to follow the white arrows. And make sure you press redeem after every quest so you can move on to the next one. Once I got to the participate in a dunk contest quest, I was able to go into the dark court portal. Now, to get this next item, all you have to do is talk to the John Warren NPC. And finally, to get this last item, you have to do all of the quests John Warren gives to you. For the first quest, you have to earn 1500 additional beats bucks. You can earn beat specs by doing dunks on the court. And, certain shoes give you more XP slash money, so keep that in mind. For the next quest, you have to collect 15 orbs, which are these floating things around the map. For the third quest, you have to buy 3 shoes from Dark Mode Court. To buy 3 shoes in the court, you need at least 9000 beats bucks, aka seasonal cash. You can grind and get the money from doing dunks and stuff, or you can buy it with Robux lol. Once you have enough cash, but the shoes. This next quest was really hard for me to do, and that's why I don't have this item, sadly. But for this quest, you need to do 3 100% dunks, in a row. So on the meter down here, you have to get 100% every time, for 3 consecutive dunks. And now, for the last quest, you just have to get 3000 more XP. You can get XP by doing dunks, and like I mentioned earlier, different shoes can give you more XP slash cash, so keep that in mind. Anyway, once you do all of the quests, you should automatically get the last item. Let me know if you like the items in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. To get this first item, join this game, and come over here. And just claim it. For this next item, join this game. You have to collect 40 bells scattered around the map. You could run around the map looking for them, or you can just find one, press E to collect it, and wait for it to regenerate lol. But yes, collect 40 bells by pressing E, and once you do that, you should get the item. For this new item, all you have to do is click the link in the description and get it. For this hair, join this game, and you have to get to fame level 12. To gain fame, you can come over here to walk on the runway. Once you're on the runway, click anywhere on the screen to gain fame. The more you click, the more fame you gain. And you can also gain fame by doing various tasks around the map. I just came over here to this computer and went AFK, and I made it to level 12 lol. Once you reach level 12, the hair should arrive in your inventory. And finally, for this last item, we're going to go in this game. You have to complete all of Santa's quests, and to be honest, they're really easy. Come over here and press R to talk to Santa, and he will give you a quest. For the first quest, 
you have to find 50 snowflakes. You can collect these gift boxes and they'll give you 15 snowflakes per box. And you can also go by the ice rink and collect falling snowflakes. Once you have 50 snowflakes, go back to Santa and get another quest. Then, you have to find 8 gift boxes in the mall and give them to Santa. For the next quest, do a pet task. Look up here to see the different tasks for your pet, and complete one of them. And finally, for the last quest you have to teleport to Bungalow Valley, put down your house, and add a Christmas tree. Once you're done with that, go back to Santa, and you should get the item. Do you like the items? Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. This is the game we will be in today. Firstly, leave this mission. And come over here to the mission board and select the Ram Rescue mission. Now, come over here to the airlocks to start the mission. Once you go through the airlock, come over here to the crafting editor and deploy your rover. For this mission, all I did was drive the rover and I still got the item. So just do that, until your rover runs out of energy. Once it's finished, leave the mission. And let's move on to the last mission, Ice, Ice maybe. Just like last time, go to the mission board, select this mission, and then go to the airlock. Now, when you go to the crafting editor, you have to add a couple of items. A drill and a gathering tool. Feel free to add some extra items, like batteries and oxygen tanks, so you can last longer during the mission. Start the misses in, and follow me to the piece of ice we need to drill. Once you're there, drill the ice using the coring drill. Now, come over here to deposit the ice. And now you're done. You should have all of the badges and free items. Do you like the items? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. This is the game we will be in today. We need to help Megan find her pet unicorn, Honey. Firstly, come over here to Megan Place, and press R to talk to her, and she will give you a quest to do. Complete all of the quests and you will find Honey and get the free item. For the first quest, you need to go into the mall, come into the jewelry shop, and pick up this purse. Exit the mall, and give the purse to Megan. Now, we need to go to the cafe to pick something up. The easiest way to move around the map is by teleporting, which you can do by clicking this button over here, then pressing wherever you want to go. Go to the cafe. Get the dessert, and return back to Megan. Now for the next quest, you need to level up any pet. You should have a pet in your inventory already, but if you don't have one, teleport to the pet shop, and claim your free pet. To level up your pet, you need to look up here and fulfill your pet's needs and wants. My pet wanted to go on the zipline, so we did it. After you complete one, your pet should level up, so then return to Megan. And for this next quest, you need to get 1000 clear coins. To get clear coins, you can complete your pet's needs and wants. Or you can do jobs around the map. Teleport to the cafe to do the cafe job, or go to the hair salon in the mall to do the hairstylist job. Once you reach 1000 coins, return to Megan for the final quest. For the last quest, you just have to do the hairstylist job in the mall. Once you finish that, go to Megan and talk to her, and you should get the free item and a badge. Do you like the item? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. 
So, if you've watched my video from yesterday, you know that these items were coming out soon. Here's how to get them. Join this game, and to get the first item, you have to get 450 points in the ice rink, which is located over here. To get points, you have to do tricks to the beat. Once this says tap, press it, or you can press the space bar, and you'll get points. The more tricks you do in a row, the higher your multiplier will go. The higher your multiplier is, the faster you'll get points. Once you reach 450 you will get the item and badge. To get this next item, you have to find 10 snowflake symbols in the map. Once you get 10, you should get the item and a badge. Let me know if you like the game and the items in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. All of these bundles come with various items, such as hair, clothing, body parts, and more. So let's go! To get this first bundle, join this game. I will also have the game linked below in the description. Once you're in the game, you have to collect 120 alien robots to unlock the bundle. You can find the alien robots scattered around the map in various places. They're very easy to find, and they respawn after some time, so you should have no problem finding them. Once you have 120, you can buy all of the accessories and the bundle, and you should also get all of the badges. To get this next bundle, you have to join this game. You need to earn a total of 5300 disco bales to unlock the bundle. And that's because you have to unlock all of these items to the left of it, before you can unlock the character bundle. To get disco balls, you can go over here to the dance floor and press E to dance, and after this bat fills up, you should get 5 disco balls each time. Invite one of your friends to join you on the dance floor, and if you guys dance together, you can earn 15 disco balls each time, instead of the regular 5. Also, if you get your friend to join and leave the game 10 times, you can get an extra 300 disco balls. So now I have 350 disco balls. Like I mentioned earlier, you have to unlock the rewards in a certain order. Keep on going until you get to the character bundle. And finally, here are the new anime animated bundles that just dropped. I will link all in the description below. Comment which one is your favorite, and I'll see you all in the next one. This is the game we will be in today. Once you join, follow me to the middle of the map. Mount on your scooter to move faster. Now, there are two ways to get to the obby. You can go over here to this platform and go up. Or you can come over to the bouncy house and go up. Just do whatever is easier for you. Anyways, once you're here, on the platform with the speakers, you have to continue to go up until you reach the space door. Once you're in space, you have to just complete the obby, and as you're completing it, make sure you collect the planets. Once you have all 9 planets and you finish the obby, you should get a badge in the item. However, I have heard that the game is glitched and some people haven't received the item. If this happens to you, the only thing you can do is wait on them to fix it, sadly. Anyways, I hope you all liked this video, and I'll see you in the next one. This is the game we will be in today. To get this rubber ducky aura, you need to join this game, and go to one of the targets. I recommend going to the targets with high numbers, like this one. Click the target, and your avatar should automatically run to their position. To play the mini game, you have to click the target when this arrow is in the yellow. Hitting 5 bullseyes in a row will trigger a hot streak, which lets you throw as many balls as you can for 5 seconds. Once you're done with the target, make sure you collect all of the diamonds, 
because you need diamonds to advance to the next area. Once you reach 2000 diamonds, come over here to the field goal and press the lock. Click the lock and you should unlock the next area. Now run over here to the next field goal and do the same thing. After that, you should get the free item and a badge. If we want to unlock the next Yubk item, the experience needs to reach at least 10,000 likes. So make sure you give the game a like, comment your thoughts and I'll see you in the next one. First up we have Nulu Octopia Items, by H&M. If you go to the game description, it says that the items will launch in January, and there's two more days left this month, so we'll see. Anyway, here's how they look. Badges have been created for these items, so more than likely, they're gonna be free to get. Next we have two new accessories that will be arriving soon in Walmart land. It is likely that you will be able to obtain them for free, for now it is not confirmed. Here's how they look. And lastly, we have new items from NFL Quarterback Simulator. There is a new update called Pro Bowl Games that will be added soon to the experience. It's not confirmed if they're free or not, but we should know soon. Here's how they look. Do you like them? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. So you need to change your scale to the smallest for all of them, but I did the maximum for the head because I have a huge forehead. Now equip the gnome legs and use the gesture torso and arms to make you petite. So once you're done you have to go to hats and equip the Hello Kitty hat. So now you can go to head and equip Hello's hat. If you're broke, sorry you can't be Hello Kitty. Leave now. And now all you have to do is equip the marshmallow suit, and you're all done! No, you are a disappointment. Don't forget to get the 1.0 gold nose ring, and make sure to equip the cat whiskers as well. Oh, I can't equip them both at the same time on mobile. I guess you have to be on mobile browser or PC. Anyways, this is what it looks like with everything combined. You're welcome. Now go away. Let's try this out, Pinks. Instead of the nose ring, I recommend wearing this nose since it looks more accurate. If you don't have headless, just wear this. Anyways, this is so cute, I hope it helped. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. This is the game we will be in today. To get the Snow Days Puffer Leg Warmers, you have to find 12 orange orbs that are scattered around the map. To get this pearlized pristine puffer, you have to find 12 more orange orbs, now, to get these Polaris Puffer Overalls, you have to complete Moment of Rest in the Meditation Zone. The Meditation Zone is right here in the middle of the map, so it's not hard to find. Come here, press E, choose your pose and then click Moment of Rest, and then you can begin. It takes some time, so just wait and once it's finished, you should get the item and a badge. To get the Polaris Puffer Skirt and Polaris Puffer Jacket, you have to complete Nurture the Mind in the Meditation Area. So just do the same thing you did last time, but click Nurture the Mind this time. To get this Foxy Sherpa Bucket Hat, you have to do Nurture the Mind for 3 days. And if you want this first track ski suit, you have to do Moment of Rest for 3 days. And if you want these skewed faux fur earmuffs, 
You have to do the trusting yourself meditation for 3 days. And lastly, if you want this fur fur cascade jacket, all you have to do is complete the trusting yourself meditation once in the meditation area. These items are so cute and definitely my favorite free items of all time. Do you like them? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.